Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage for the Sony PlayStation. This was a game that I let's played many, many, many years ago, and hopefully I haven't forgotten everything about it. Hey there, Penne. Yes, create save data, please. Keep in mind this is not a 100% playthrough, but rather just see how far I get to the end. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Average Scottish Somewhere person. Warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Meanwhile, in the world of Avalar... Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! And a dragonfly. Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! <laughs> Oops. Go, you imbecile! You ain't my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Oh, I love how the default audio does not have good sound mixing. Yeah, let's just make the voices more quiet compared to the actual music. That usually is well received. Alright, at least the deep the stick works for this. I feel it's much better to use the stick than it is the actual uh Hi, deep head. Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, oh wow, you guys want an N64 grab bag? I'm good with that. So, uh, I'm gonna, like, set up, like, a new channel on Discord so you guys can let me know what N64 games I should play. I don't know if I'll have time to play them all, but it'll be good to have them loaded and ready to go. So that I don't have to, like, uh, fiddle around with everything during the stream. So it's a good idea to try to get as many gems as you can. All right. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> All 
I take it Phantom did not get the outcome he was hoping for. Now that an HD version of this game exists makes you wonder, do you buy the game with a fresh coat of paint, or do you go back to where it all started? Maybe both? If you are able to do both? It all comes down to personal taste. Oh, hey there, Red. Good to see you. Of course, you can use, like, all four buttons on the uh, top of the controller. And they'll tell you where the I'm next closest before. gem is. Where you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. Okay. That, that means that if you... Okay. Stop that. Hang on. There's a... I wonder if this cheat will actually work. Okay. Circle four times and square. This allows you to get all your abilities right from the start. So now I should be able to climb earlier than I'm supposed to. Missed you? What do you mean? Didn't I see you on Friday? We installed some gym lamps in this cave too, but even harder to keep going. I definitely need this superfly power up to light the lamps, okay. So, by entering this input, you're able to fly much sooner than you're supposed to. Oh, I guess I... I think I need 10 of something. Oh, what did I say again? You'll definitely need this superfly power-up to light the lamps. So I guess I can't really do it yet. Thought I would be able to now that I can climb. Ah, you must be the. Okay, cost you hundred gems to cross. Here you go. We'll be giving him money an awful lot, and I say that loosely because he is awful. Now my Spyro 3 still has 3 still has anti-piracy BS and other is music from all three games got mixed out. Well, I never had that problem in my let's play of it, so didn't affect me much. To get a good look. Hold on, trying on yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it only shows me that much. Spiral. 
Thanks for almost fun out the lizards. Take this talisman. Okay, good. I got the talisman into Glimmer. You're gonna need these throughout the game. This magic Take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds. Okay, so that's the hub I gotta go to next. So not only will I need talismans, but late in the game you also need orbs. And every level has quite a few orbs. I didn't know much about it either until I looked it up. I think when I did my Let's Play, I didn't bother with it, because I wanted to, like, play it naturally. But since I already played it before, I figured, I'd yeah, just speed things up. Save us a little bit of time. Oh, hey there, Dino. Welcome to the show. Oh, hello. Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gin lamps. I guess I'll have to. Walk through pyramids for Superfly power-up. Light gin lamps with flame. Light all lamps quickly. This part. Oh, am I gonna make it? Yes, I made it. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. Better give me this orb. Yeah, give me the orb. Try to have as many of those as you can. Get the easy ones out of the way. You don't have to worry about doing the hard ones. Spiral games are definitely good. Like, the original trilogy is really good. The ones on GBA, like, the, the last two are really good, and the first one is an isometric nightmare. Am I getting a third orb without getting cheats and ladder skill? Oh, good for you, I guess. I'm not that too deep about trying to break the game much. Well, can I get in there? Wait, there are holes. No, I didn't mean to do that. The holes didn't have a purpose, did they? I don't think they did. Let's see, go this way. There? Look, don't worry if it spoils it to me. But I'm just worrying, like, do what other people not want to know. Because not a lot of people have seen this game before, all the way through. 
Okay, now I can actually do this part. Oh, I already fucked up. Wait, maybe if I go to the other side. Uh oh. Nope, that. Ah! Oh! Started dipping right at that moment. Almost had it. Got it. Yeah. Thanks for helping me like There's all the lamps. <laughs> we're all afraid we're gonna have to cancel tonight's baseball game. That's right, you owe me. Hope they're not watching the Mets. Then I shouldn't have helped them. Doesn't go that way. So I'm missing at least a few gems. But I think I almost got them all. Go up there. Maybe it's on the other side. Oh, I'll, I'll go look for them because they're right there. Second. Uh, it's not giving me a good view. Channel got bombed over negative comments from multiple people by the same person or like Spyro attacking the wrong things I was talking trash about the game. I can't imagine like feeling so hyper obsessed over one particular video game that you're willing to like start shit with people. Because they like a media so much that even the remote criticism of it tears them apart. I can't imagine living life like that, to be honest. Step through the portal next to me. Anyway, we should move on. In Summer Forest. We gotta jump. Oh no. Hey. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh hi, I'm Spyro. What are you? Some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. 
There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismen? Good point. If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. I assume dragons only get one lunchtime, so they have better eating habits than hobbits. What about second breakfast? This is the home world called Summer Forest. Portals to the main area live around here. Ripto is taking over the castle and you need to start shooting talismans. Okay. I'm sure I can do that, no problemo. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what Sparks does. So as long as it's like yellow, I have max health. That is important. Oh yeah, you see those uh, jars that are silver? You cannot set them on fire. So you have to charge into them. Do I want to go to Oil Springs now? I mean, it doesn't matter. I have to go back to the hubs each time anyway. Oh no, I killed it. Spyro, the idols we were caught. They locked us over a temple and stolen our food. Alright, I'll I'll deal with some idols for ya. We even got marshmallows. No, you, you you get that shit open, okay? I get gems to get. Yeah, now we can go swimming. Remember in the first game when Spyro couldn't even handle water? Times have changed for the better since then. They wanted to make Elora a centaur and they couldn't do it because of game limitations. So it was it's just the Motaro problem, really. And they couldn't even make him a centaur in Armageddon. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles. Three puzzles they've given you. Turn all these blocks yellow. Okay. 
All right, it's this one. I think if I do this. Ah, uh, life-giving water, ah, nectar of the life-giving water, nectar of the gods. Thanks for the sub, Anubis, for five months. Thank you so much. Meet me at the pond for the next challenge. That one wasn't really much of a challenge. How many times have I seen this kind of puzzle before? Honestly, too many times. That one seemed pretty basic. This idol says he's hung. Satisfying to swallow ten fish. Got a sense of stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. The idol is very picky, okay. Oh! Press the wrong button. So it's the yellow fish. And the blue fish got right in the way, too. I don't think this is timed. They even gave the idol an uvula. Look at it. The only thing it doesn't do is dangle. I wonder if they added animations for it in the reignited version. So we're doing some damage to the uh, marine life, just to satisfy an idol. But if it's for an orb, I'll do it. At least the uh, hit detection is quite generous. Okay, Spyro, just. Meet you by the colored stones. I'm on my way. Oh, see that. That's supposed to get broken or something, but how do I reach that from here? Oh, maybe I can just jump to it. Well, if I actually have to jump. No, I have to jump and hit triangle. Maybe I can't deal with that yet. It's a bit high up. I can think of another way. Get out of here. Free him. Still working on DKC too? Damn. Well, at least you should be pretty close. Those metal sh Yeah, yeah, I, I know about the shields. Have you not been paying attention to me working, Zoe? I feel bad for people that were trying to find all the gems 
and not know how sparks can detect them for you. That must have been atrocious. I'm gonna do it all manually. Eat. Can I talk to you? No, you don't wanna talk. So be it. Your problem, not mine. The temple should be almost completely open. Aim the camera. Oh my God. I love when the tutorial is forced so you can't just toggle it yourself. Love it. Absolutely love it. Every game should have forced tutorials. Every single one. If you jump on these stones in the Jump on them in the correct order, you'll solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is, it's up to you to figure the rest out. Hmm. If you jump You saw the puzzle, okay. There's this one. Okay, I think it has something to do with the pattern. Oh, diamond was correct. If you jump on I, I believe it's the pattern on the moon. And then you should get to this one, and then that one, and then finally this one. Hey, Bragg. Nice job. I like to give you this shiny thing I found in the toolbox. Why is that in your toolbox? That's not even a tool. Not a tool you can understand. Oh, look all the yellow fish come back. How about that? Battle Network games were mean with that, especially for those who have played every game in the series, forced tutorials and such. I think they should at least made it an option, say like, is this your first time playing a Battle Network game? Because, you know, pretty sure if you played Battle Network 5, you'll likely have played, you know, 1 through 4 already. 4, I would say, is the weakest one. Oh, I believe you have a talisman for me. If you want a permanent job, got a place for you here. You better pay me good. There we go. The Idol Springs Talisman. I guess I can just look around a little bit more. See if I can find some more orbs. I 
I hit triangle game. No, nope, but you're one microsecond too late, so, uh, eat shit, I guess. Confession time, Eric, and all the skill points legit? Who cares? I mean, it's an accomplishment for a single player game. It's not like you use aimbots in Call of Duty. Nobody's gonna care. Oh, I hit the jump button too late. What an annoyance sometimes. Especially when you try to get the maximum distance. Ah, oh, yeah! I hit the input twice. Because if you just graze the uh, wall, it's just going to stop your momentum. And there's going to be some spots that are rough. Because of it. Orb challenge, Ron. Well, I mean, it's right there. I think I remember this one being annoying. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so I should start from here. Am I supposed to use- am I supposed to jump? Am I supposed to jump? Okay... Alright, let me talk to you. Okay, you're no help. Hey Cole, good to see you. Well, that worked. Got him. I can't say I have a preference, because both have their strengths and weaknesses. Girls dance, brain dance, blew up the idol. Cool, give me the orb. I did it. I think before I leave, I want to go and, uh, Take a look past the waterfall. Plus, you can exit the level at any point. So you, it's not like you are forced to use the waterfall or the portal. So I do like that. Wait, hold on, let me load the stick. Oh,
Oh, there's more stuff over here. Wait a minute, how the hell do you get up there? Hold on, hold on. Don't answer that yet. Let's just get out of here. Uh-oh. We're not safe! Run! That Star Force patch doesn't work on all versions. I think according to what I saw, it's recommended you patch it from the Pegasus game. So, use that one. Hello. Hi, Spyro. Oh, right, Tutorial Town. You're lucky there were gems in the way. Otherwise, I wouldn't have listened to you. Nice job! Oh, come on! I don't know if there's like a slight delay of when I press the X button and when I actually jump. But it certainly hit me a few times. There, I did it. You owe me an orb. Very good. Get a walking star, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. I did it. Wow, you're Gimme. Yeah. Huh. I think next will be this level. Colossus. I'll soon have to do laundry myself. Because I'm running low on the amount of socks I have to wear. No, oh, I don't want to be sacrificed. Trying to kill me? What the hell, man? A yeti has. Yeti has been rampaged around their home and managed to trap by shutting all the doors. Talk to the other brothers that will open the gates and guide you to him. Okay. Oh, he's even got penguins here. I'm guessing the goats are the enemies here, so... Better keep my eye on them. Let me in. Concentrate. Snowy area? I don't think it's snow, it's more like a mountain area. It will have snow, because it's high up. But I wouldn't necessarily call it snowy area. So a mountain top. Uh, 
Alright, so far so good. Making a good pace. As usual, we'll probably do the raffle by, you know, like, well over an hour or so. And if I'm really enjoying myself playing this game, I'll probably keep playing. Who needs a key when you know how- Who needs a key when you know how to chat like this? What happens if you have, like, a sore throat? Like, everyone's locked out? I like how she tells you about the yaks after you've already dealt with them. So not only do you get a useless tutorial, they give it to you late. Each time you defeat Each time you need enemy to release the spirit particles. Spirit particles activate the power up in that world. I forgot that was a thing that you actually are required to defeat enemies. With certain power-ups. It's like, these superpowers are powered by the souls of all you have defeated. You can't fly, Sparrow. You need more bloodlust to satisfy. The gate requires more souls. Hey, look what I, look what I could do. Yoshi Safari is not a point and click. That's a rail shooter. Rail shooters and point and clicks are two different things. Remember Hunter's advice. You'll glide farther than press X at the very time. Yeah, 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 whatever. Like speaking of uh, games for a retro viewer's choice, um. Holy Diver got taken off the list because Neil wanted it replaced with something else. Which I'm like, okay, that's fine. Because it didn't get confirmed on the list, so you can go ahead and do that. So, but anybody else wants to request Holy Diver, they can do that themselves. Even though. I think you should torch that Yeti. Pretty tough, though. I'm not, I'm not sure you're up for it. We'll see about that. I need to kill only one enemy. And it's right over there. Alright, oh, that doesn't work. Was it really difficult to find some old games? Not really. Like, the only difficulty is just making sure they work properly. And even then, there's already resources that help you with that. There's another one up here. I mean, it's a game after DOS. I can either use like a DXWND, but there's also like Scum, which is another program I can use. So there's plenty of options. Oh. 
Ah! <laughs> Those noises. <laughs> Great noises. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play all of this tonight. Maybe I'll, like, uh, do some more tomorrow. We'll see. What's wrong with you? Oh, thank goodness. You know, behind the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase away for good. Yeah, I can deal with that. Carrot crazy? No, I think he means lost in time. Actually, there was another one. Time Busters also had some backtracking. Osmos Pure is the only core I feel that works for me, even that has its own problems with some games. It depends on the game. So, I mean, it should be no big deal, right? Not every solution is going to work for everything. Okay, were there statues back there? There, I think there were. Or not. Okay, I guess that the statues that are lit up are the ones you've already hit. I see. So I should just retrace my steps from the beginning, really. In case there were statues over there. Yeah, see? I like how I say there's not 100% run, and yet I go out of my way to try to get everything I can. Mostly just to get the easy ones cleared out. And then the hard ones, just don't worry about Oh, hiccups. I wonder if anyone ever heard that, uh... That silly rumor that hiccups make you grow. I can tell you that's a bold-faced lie. Because I've had hiccups a lot. And I'm still only, what, 5'3". When I went in here and there were no statues. Oh no, there was a statue. Guess I'll deal with the Yeti then. You all right, sir? Oh, like you did that to yourself. The T posing statue.
There it is. Oh, don't kick me back out! At least let me finish exploring the spot first. Okay, that thing was over here, I gotta go. Wonder if Yetis get health insurance coverage? Probably not. And not because it was his fault? Sucks Prehistoric 2 ended up being a broken game. I think it's because I tried to run it in dust dust box rather than just through the actual launcher. So maybe that was my fault. Front of hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match? Two men score five goals in the red goal. Oh, of course I have to play hockey again after Friday's stream. Oh wow, that, that goalie is slow. Trying to intercept the puck, and I keep not doing it. Oh. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, right there. Got my own rebound. Like, why do I need teammates? I can pass to myself. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Yeah, Chicago has a hockey team too, but most of the players are from Canada. Would you like to try a game? No. I'm out of here. I can't believe my friend is dead. Gems down here, too. Get basketball, football, still lost on hockey. It takes some learning because it is a very fast game. I do get that. Open. Oh, hello. Well on your way, 
Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Keep collecting orbs too. Oh, I'm, I'm on it. There's something. Maybe you can climb him up and get it. Sure, I can get it. With the power of cheats, I can do anything. Yeah, yeah. Sunny Beach. I think we'll go to that one next. And nice. Remember when I said the Spire 3 is made in the year 2000? What about it? Ow! Why do we let the turtles learn how to use cattle prods? Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here if you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety. Get on that. Next year will also be Year of the Dragon? Oh, interesting. Since they all went that way. Ha <laughs> ha, look how the starfish turns sad when you take it out. Excuse me? Oh, took some dumb hits. Eat. Whoa, it was a headless uh, employee. Get on that. Stay there. You can't push that, can you? No, you can't. Why did I think you could? Anyway... I bet this will help me, uh... Get that out of the way. Wait, no, this is... That's all that was! Oh no, hold on. There's more. No, no. He's like, duh, I'm an idiot. Get on there. Okay, at least they'll lock on to the... It'll lock on to the actual button. Waiting. I 
I know Dino didn't, because he didn't play any Spyro games at all. Now, I don't know if he would not mind if you were talking about something that happens in the game. Like, if anybody has any objections to, like, any spoilers for this game, say so now. So it doesn't become an issue later. And if there's no issues, you can probably go ahead. Ha! Oh, not over there. Hello, young one. There's a chef at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Oh no. I remember this one. Your turtle friend. Doyle Fred's not make very good soup, I catch him. Keep the turtles out of the cauldron. Okay, at least it has a good camera view. Okay, I just gotta keep knocking them in the water. Here, take a Zorb, go away. If you step in Five? Uh, I'll try it once. That doesn't even look appetizing. Look what look at this pot. Good bounce. The issue with this is that you have to like steer your tackle. I think I might get it. I made it! I don't need it. Here, I'll take your other orb. You are orbless! Deal with it. You will now starve. It didn't look like 5-star difficulty, but I mean, that was because I played this game before and knew what to expect. I think the first time I played it, I mostly just used the flames, and it ended up being a disaster. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtle- Baby turtles we save up here. Here's your talisman. And I'll take your girlfriend to dinner. See you around later. Thanks for stopping by, Kara. Hope you have a great dinner. Mm. 
All right, good stuff. Um, here maybe? You can go ahead and answer this. Do I need to get all the talismans in each level of the hub before I can take on the boss? Yes or no? Say, Spyro. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Okay, you need to get all the talismans. Aw, oh, damn. Alright. Thanks for letting me know. So really, I shouldn't have skipped Huracos. Well, I'll come back to it later. Aquaria Towers it is. Here we go. Just here. Here you go. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. The funny looking guys with the funny guys. The shock sticks have drained all our water. Oh no. And I already get electrocuted. Oh damn, those crabs shatter. 32? 32 what? Playing up till final boss? Well, we'll see. We're just gonna play it by ear. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing it all on one session tonight. Or play most of it today, and then play more tomorrow. It comes down to, like, how far I get. I think that's what I like to do for games that are not gonna take longer to do. Unless I'm really close to the end, then I'll just keep playing. This one, I know there's, like, three hubs. There's quite a few levels in each one. Stop that shocker. It's gonna raise the water even more. Skip some crabs. Oh, I skip two. Somehow I knew that line would come up as soon as I said the word shocker. You can't escape me! It's like, a part of me really wanted to make that, like, a redemption for, like, X amount of bits, or a dollar, or, like, a X amount of dollars. Just play that video. I don't know how well that would go. Because I know, like, a one streamer I follow when he gets like X amount of bits, will play like scenes from certain movies. And I remember like if he gets like 10,000 bits or a hundred bucks, he'll just play that entire scene in a uh, Predator where they're shooting down the entire jungle. Oh, this. Nice. You won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead or the submarine. Is it shark proof? Well, I missed some gems over there, but whatever. I like crab meat. 
Probably more so than Im Imitation Crab, though Imitation Crab's not bad either. It's like if I had to choose... Oh, son of a bitch. The real deal is better. Ah, six. Ah, oh, shit. Our world is wet again. There, excellent. Got the talisman. Oh, I remember this. That means I can kill the sharks now. I just remember how to get to them. Oh, that's how. There we go. That's how it's done. I like how they got those uh, masks too. Or helmets so they don't drown. I don't need you. Why am I even sticking around here? If I need orbs, I can always come back manually. Sod again. Oh no, I just flew into the sheep's ass. How delightful. Pretty sure this is the way to the boss. This talisman only do if you have all six talismans. How many do I have? I got this one. No wait. No, that's not that's the hub. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So Huracos it is. I know where that is. Is there a Spider-Man game where a lot of Spider-Man voice actors voice different Spider-Man for each Spider-Man for different dimensions? I hope so. It'd be a lot less confusing. Get out of here, big man. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders.
Gear grinds and I set up force fields to separate us. You can find diodes and use them to turn off the force fields. Gotta find a diode. Oh, okay, that's what they look like. Maybe the big enemies have them? No, because there's more than one. Here it is. Get here, rat. You have to sustain me. That's an actual food chain, right? Dragons over rats. I'm sure that's how it's always been. Shadow Dimensions? I think I've seen a copy of Shadow Dimensions for PlayStation 3 at a local game store. But god, it was so expensive, like, well over 60 bucks. And I'm sure it's a pretty good game, but I can't... I don't know if I can justify spending that money... Unless it was, like, a highly requested game for me to play. Then I might stomach it more. But if it's only, like, my own curiosity, at that point, it's just probably not in my best interest. There we go. I'll just toss it at an angle. What can go wrong? Just give that siren enough time to make some noise and then shut it off immediately. Don't give those security drones a chance. You don't have a diode on you. Oh, I guess you do. You get to that way. Uh oh. That's as far as I can go right now. Unless. I head over here. I mean, it is what it is. Like, it is it a shame? Yeah, it definitely is. And I think it just got ah, real bad over life -giving the past water. few years. Nectar of the gods. Hey there, Patrick. Good to see you. Especially since the uh, price of like uh, retro games at old stores has been, like, mired in controversy. Especially with the grading system. Do you think this world is kind of a precursor to Ratchet and Clank? No, I don't think so. Like, Ratchet and Clank didn't really exist around this time. Not every mechanical world is going to be a reference to a game that wasn't out yet. Oh, damn. Mechanical World certainly existed well before Ratchet and Clank. And after it, too. Any connections would have been coincidental at best.
Thank you, Spike. Thank you, it's about to hit all the extra all the electric barriers. You did it. You can go to the boss now. There isn't a spot around here that has an orb in it. I mean, I could probably look a little bit. I think I killed enough enemies to activate the power-up. Oh, oh, yeah, I definitely did. Oh, I know what I need that for. Oh, what am I doing? I'm letting go of charge. Aha! Looks like this will be needed for later. Sucks about Naughty Dog and Insomniac were temporarily slaves of the Plastic Universal Studios. Basically losing their first babies like Crash and Spyro. I mean, Crash is still getting a game, but it's a, it's a bit of a strange one that I don't really remember all that well. It just seems very forgettable to me. What's this? Is this yours? Gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. You can replace them all and activate our generator. I'd be very grateful. Replace lightning stones and catch thieves. Oh, I need to put them somewhere. Go. I guess we can do this one. Since I'm already there. Sparrow's a really good spitter, as you can see. He gets the job done. Stop that. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. Maybe I can use it as bait. Go out of their way to steal the orbs if they can. And then we trap them. I don't see you helping, Poindexter. He's like, I'm just supervising. Yeah, shut up. Tedious, but it's honest work. Oh, okay. That works. Well, 
Over there? Alright. Uh oh. Where did that come from? No, I didn't mean to do that. It gets more annoying when they take them all off with ease. So then you have to affix them back to the machines again. So this is where the tedium runs in. I mean, they should only be able to carry one orb at a time. Are you kidding me? Where now? Oh my god, it ran away. Like, you didn't even take anything! Jesus! All your hard work can get squandered in seconds. So it makes this one a lot longer than it needs to be. Imagine how much worse this would be if the amount of thieves were infinite. Okay, that's the last thief. I did it. Fuck that noise. Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Let's give it here. Well done, Spyro. Now there's six talismans, this door will open. Jump through that hole on the floor and get down to crush this dungeon. Alright, I'm on it. Let's do it now. Crush. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> that's my birthday. Thank God that wasn't his uh, credit card number. No, Hunter, don't! What? Get off! Get off me, you useless buffoons! Why can't either of you? Hi. Where are we? Hmm. No dragons. Wonderful. Crush! Go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry! Oh my, oh my. I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush! Go through the portal, you idiot! 
to all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar quickly. No! Go! Crush! Get the orbs now! No! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I, uh, would have gone after him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now. And Sparrow keeps falling. Uh... Alright, first boss. Okay, I have to get him when he's like not on the force of grace. Shit. Good, right on time. Oh, right, I was supposed to use the flames. Shoot fireballs. So can I. Kind of. God, just in time. Timing window is a lot, a lot tighter now. Don't even think about it. Oh, get you! Oh, get you! Oh, oh shit! I've learned nothing. Okay, this should be it. Well, it was almost a hitless fight. Crush defeated. Simpleton, but Gulp will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, Shorty. <laughs> Gulp, come here now. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. What? The roof? Gulp, get me out of here. So long. What a wuss. In Autumn Plains. <laughs> that Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that, and that. Boo. Ah! Why, you, you, 
<laughs> Where did they go on manning the banners anyway? I could just make it happen with my mind. Alright, next hub. Autumn Plains. Although I think it would have been more clever, they just called it Fall Fields. Because it would have been a nice alliteration. Hey. Well done, Spike. The power from your words activated the whirlwind. Oh, it's because I picked up enough. That's active. That's cool. Metro Speedway. I don't think I need to do any of those. I don't think. A legend has it. There's a portal to Zephyr here, and Legend has it, I know how to activate it. Fine. You go do it. Um, but maybe we'll do Zephyr and then we'll do the raffle. Let's go. I'm trying to shoot that baby bird with my dick. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you're gonna kill Grimace! Okay. Looks like I was a bit of a situation. Breeze builders got us pinned down. Wait for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building! It's, it's my first day, but uh, okay, I can do that. Oh wow, that, that's a snipe. So I pretty much have to jump to deal with them. So I don't get shot. What makes this very weird about this whole blobs versus birds kind of thing is that in most video games, you normally take the side of the birds, and the blobs are the evil ones. Here, it's the other way around. This is where the birds are bad guys. I mean, I I've dealt with birds being assholes before in countless games. Hard to think it'd be a game like this. Oh, hello. Can I man that? You can blast that bird, soldier. Jump up here and give it a try. How the hell did you mess up that badly? It's easy. get your pay.
That was piss easy to do, actually. Wait, I could have gotten that bird from up there. I think if I stand on that ledge, those birds will come for me. Yeah, see this one. That missed. Get back here. Got him. Won't bother me anymore. Nice. That was nice shooting. Too bad you couldn't do it. Huh, the blob is like right in the way of the uh, explosive barrel. I almost felt sorry for it. Almost. <laughs> Oh! Good one. She got one on me. Oh, a little bit higher. Yeah! Hey, Zoe! Let's see what would happen if you did that. Oh! Damn! I didn't think it was gonna go all the way from there. The distance that barrel got. Holy crap. <laughs> what? Alright, where's the bomber that did that? You. Get bodied. And burnt. And everyone all get turned. Here then. I don't see anywhere else. Right. What if I can get this on the first shot? Yeah, gamer. Oh, hello. Let's see if I can get this one on first shot, too. Let me aim a little lower. No. I could not. Eh. Could have been better. But I'll take it. Can't win them all. Good thing you had a helmet on, yeah, I know, right? It's just a saucepan, really. I suppose it gets the job done. Alright, I'm gonna look around a little bit, because there might be some orbs I can go snag. Five, like... Look like anteaters? Hello. 
That window up there, dummy. Professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Julia. I haven't seen her in a long time. I'm the professor. Look at the legs on that bird. This thing I gotta get later. I know there was five of them. Oh, there's a professor. I bet he can do something with these. Spiral, my boy. And a magic beam may seed for you somewhere. Plant it in the ground and see what grows. Aiming the seed by holding down a triangle button will make this easier. If you ever need your seed back, blame the plant. Turn back into a seed again. I think I remember this one being a pain in the ass too. than one seed I need. So I know there's one up there. And I bet you need three to get up here. I can get this one. So what I need to do... I need to get back up there. Up to where the professor was. That way, I can work on getting this one. But I do have to walk all the way back to get the other seed. I can just heard that one all the way there. That's funny. Get it completely out of the way. I can get to this seed. Uh, I think it's this one next? Yeah, there's this fourth seed right there. This one's really not that bad as long as you know the best place to start. Oh, look at that. There's another seed there. I 
I need to put this right here. That way I can get to the other side. this seed, and then you gotta head all the way back. The back and forth does make this tedious. I, I will not dispute that. However, it this does not look as horrible as people might make it out to be. Drop a safe stand in case I mess up this jump. And now you're over here. Well done, my Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Yeah, now do more of this. I don't think I should sprout this one yet. And you're gonna see why. Actually... What I need to do... I need to put this seed... here. On this side. And then... You go get started on this. I'm so full from seeds, yum. Ah, oh, shit. Did I fuck up? I hope I didn't. Am I gonna have to spit from a distance? I think so. Yeah! I am a top tier spitter. I can be taken out of context. Like, if you were, like, watching this stream with no video and audio only, it's a completely different experience. Romeo! Romeo! Oh god, you sound the same. There we go. And then they made mutant babies. The end. So that's good for now. Violent. Okay. So it's already saved. So I say we can continue this tomorrow.